let's now cover the first topic the architecture of vim so here is the thing so vendor invoice management is is has a number of components that is sitting inside sap and outside sap so this is the process that is covered here so what happens is you have first process is the image is scanned okay so you can scan an image or you can send an electronic invoice through uh, email and then in that portion after it has been scanned or emailed an ocr is done the ocr is something called optical character recognition it's a very slick solution that has been there in the in in the process for a longer time but this ocr engine is very strong and it uh, it uh, finds out where is the amount field where is the reference field where is the vendor field and the po field so that it can get in all those information and then after it gets through the information based on the configuration you set it up it will come inside sap or if some configuration is not done if some turn fields are not filled up it will be kept outside sap and you have to validate in the icc portion once it enters vim this portion we are doing the configuration where we tell what are the different exceptions are the uh, big exceptions in a po invoice is there is no goods receipt or the po line has been exhausted it doesn't have enough money or the po is not released for a non po invoices it's of course most important is there's no coding information coding information can be something related with okay we don't know the gl account and the cost center for which we are we have to post the invoices and uh, so the and and of course for a non po invoice you might require an approval so you don't know the approver's name and all those things so after the document processing is done then you have the invoice approval okay so the invoice approval comes into picture after the exception handling now the invoice approval can be an sap invoice sap workflow invoice approval or you can put it into vim or however it is required and accordingly accordingly the rest of the components will come now if you see these are the component sap netweaver reba network so there are cases where reba will send us in send invoices now the invoices that are paid through reba also can come into vim and you can do it through vim so that you can have a single point of reporting where you can do all the reporting whether it's a reba non reba sap edi through vim okay and the piece content repository is some is the place where all the images uh, are stored so that when audit comes you may want to make sure that apple is to apple and not apple is to orange so if if in the invoice which has been written hundred dollars we are paying hundred dollars or if we are short paying it there is a real real reason behind it so that auditors can come and check who has done it when was it done it and what is the reason behind all this exception so this is a perfect solution for um for invoice pro invoicing process for vendor payment because it's transparent to the users and anyone can figure it out what is the issue where the vendor payments are stuck why is the vendor not getting paid and so on and so forth